I'd like to tell you a story about a road trip that my college friends and I went on. There were about 45 or 50 of us, so we needed to rent one of those big Greyhound buses. We set off down the road, but then sometime in the night we got tired and we pulled over at this odd hotel. It was narrow at the base and broad at the top. So we all piled out of the Greyhound bus and onto the first floor. Now a couple things you should know about my friends and me. We're lazy and we don't like to climb stairs. Secondly, we don't want to sleep in the bed, same bed. But most importantly, we're lazy and we don't like to climb stairs. Now on the first floor, there was one hall. It was called the S Hall. In the S Hall, there was one bed or room. Because we don't like to sleep in the same bed, we ended up filling up the bed head to toe. We did that and then we went up to the second floor. On the second floor, there were two halls, the S Hall and the P Hall. Separating the S Hall and the P Hall were just a couple stairs. Not as many stairs as going from the first floor to the second floor, but enough stairs where we really didn't want to climb them because remember, we were lazy. Just like on the first floor, the S Hall had one room. We filled up the bed head to toe. Only then did we climb the stairs to the P Hall. The P Hall had three rooms. Being as that we don't like to sleep in the same bed, naturally, we filled up the beds in this order. One per bed. Only after that did we then go back and double up and sleep head to toe. Okay, let's say you're this individual here and you wanted to give instructions to a friend on how they could find you. You'd have to kind of tell them your address. You would tell them you're on the second floor. You'd let them know you're in the P hall. You'd tell them which room you're in. And then you would tell them that you were the guy that was sleeping head down. Now you probably guessed that this is a fictitious story. However, it can be useful for describing the electrons and how they fill up the atom. So start thinking about these people, not as people, but as electrons. So if you wanted to know this electron's location, you would have to give the energy level, you would provide the sublevel, you would provide the orbital, and you would have to say what your spin was. Spin just means head up or head down. So keep this model of the hotel in mind as we work through this unit.